Classic rolls on Becker and Edberg. Sweden made this final tie, beating Yugoslavia. Born Ivanovic and company. And Germany got by the USA, that memorable marathon. Two day rubber between Becker and Agassi called at midnight due to a Munich curfew, and they came back the second day, and Becker this, survived. One of the greatest matches in Davis Cup history. Davis Cup loss for Andre Agassi. As a server, you want to come out in games and win the first point. Make sure you're ready. Both of these players are so similar, one from Sweden, one from Germany, but both very clean cut. Not a wrinkle in their shirts or shorts. Tucked in. Sharp. Well, the shorts aren't long enough to be wrinkled. And there you go. It's fun to watch these classic matches to see what the style was and the shoes they were wearing. And Edberg not having a racket contract, but painting that old Wilson racket all black, not using a label. Neither one of these players with racket contracts. Just using their rackets from the old days it made him great. Behind the big serve. Long. A big problem for the racket manufacturing at that time was the players wanted to use a racket that they didn't sell. And why would you pay a player an endorsement to use a racket they're not even going to sell in stores? They've since then corrected it. And now, let's say Federer wants to use a racket they don't sell, but they'll paint it in the with the paint job of a racket in the store. Interesting. Maybe they don't want me to tell they tell you that at home, but <laughs> that's what's happening a lot of times. The inside scoop. But even you see an Andy Roddick or or anybody for that matter, even if he got their racket, it's never their racket because they wait and balance it. They've got ten rackets in the cooler, and all of them have been. Weighted and leveled to their specifications. Becker at the net. Becker uses a racket that's head heavy, head light, where Edward uses a racket that's head heavy. Here's the serve and volley play by Boris Becker getting in quick. Nice return. Uses his entire body to get the depth on that volley. Finishes it up with a little drop. It's all about opening up the court, finding holes. The window of opportunity might be with the drop shot or an angle and an ace for the game. Davis Cup is always so much fun because you've got your teammates working together. Becker will play some doubles. Eric Yalen, Carl Uwe Steeb, and Boris Becker with team captain Nikki Pillage. That rounds off. Team West Germany. Edberg to serve. Once again, Boris Becker is clocked in to Stefan serve, making it very difficult first volleys. Another great shot by Boris Becker. And you look at Team Sweden with Stefan Edberg, as you see here, Jan Gunnarsson, Anders Jared, a great doubles player, and the great, great, great Mats Bielander. So on paper, it looks like Sweden's got the edge. But right now, Boris Becker has got the hot hand. Oh, no call. Boris didn't even go for it. I always like love to hear what the players have to say to the ref. Is he going to attack the ref on this one? Back in the day with Elon Nastasi and John McEnroe, McEnroe, there were no rules. They pretty much go nuts out there.
There's a winner. Now that's Stefan Edberg's game. First serve, first volley. He caught the ball a little bit high, but that's what you want to do with a high volley. You want to finish the point off, send a message saying, I'm, I'm here, I haven't gone anywhere, and you got to do more than float up a return to beat me. Did you hear the thump when that ball hit the court? Mm -hmm. A lot of times these makeshift courts are put on different surfaces. If this carpet's put on cement, it's going to play a lot faster as opposed to put on wood. It sounded like it's put on a wood. Maybe it hit a, hit a block of wood and in a different sound. The tremendous serve leads to the game victory for Edberg. Moving closer in the second set, still down 3-2 to Becker. Becker up three games to two in the second set of this Davis Cup. Epic. I'm Murphy Jensen with Brian Weber, Boris Becker to serve. December 17th, 1989. Boris is on his game. And that is what this story's been all about. Boris Becker, clobbering serves. He is so lined up and dialed in. If you were ever going to serve a perfect serve, that was it. Stefan Edberg with an answer. After that first serve, it must have taken the wind out of Boris hitting that monster first serve. 15 all. Becker throwing in a meatball on the second. Stefan against the ropes. Becker's first serve percentage, very, very high. Finding the angles, hitting the open court. These guys, it's a cat and mouse game of finding, moving the, your opponent around, jerking them out of position. And in Boris's case, just serving bolts. Just keep hitting that big serve. Just like he started the game, he finishes the game with the towering T serve, Nikki Pillich.